Hello everyone and welcome back to Granny Yoga. Today's practice is a standing only mat flow for balance. So don't get intimidated when I say balance. When I say balance, I mean we're gonna have a great time. So all you need for today's practice is a chair. Even a yoga mat is optional. So grab something comfortable, a drink of water, and let's get started. welcome back so we have our chair with the back facing us this is going to be our stable surface for our um, balancing practice I mean, nice and stable as you can tell so meet me here hip width apart open up the palms and let's take three cleansing breaths together in through the nose side out soften through the shoulders in through the nose all the way to the top of that breath Side out, all the way to the bottom. One more, seal the lips in through the nose and let it go. Excellent, inhale, sweep those arms up, nice big reach, float them back down. Excellent, we're using these big inhales here to create a little space in our torso. Exhale, float it back down. Great job, land here, just loosening through the shoulders. Take it back, take it forward. Excellent, and then I'm gonna take that big breath in, big reach, grab the right wrist, send it to the left. And as you land here, nice and rooted in the opposite heel, take a breath in, open through the right rib cage. Exhale. Great job. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Big breath opens up hip to shoulder. Beautiful. Back to center. Big reach. And float the hands down. Amazing. A couple more. Shoulder circles. Back and forward. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna zip my legs together, bring my knees together, and then come on down with your hands just right here on your knees and we're gonna do some knee circles. Sticking with cultivating those full breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Take that circle the other way. Beautiful. And then go ahead and roll yourself back up. All right, I'm going to turn, face my chair. Hands are here on my chair for stability. Maybe yours is a little bit higher. I love this chair so much, but I'm not sure how practical it is. Whatever, it's cute. And I'm going to step my hips back. So notice that my hip points are stacked over my ankles, and I'm reaching for my chair, but I'm not falling forward. If I was to release my hands, I'm still nice and steady here, and I can wiggle my toes. So I'm not gripping my toes, pitching forward. I'm rooted in the heels and the pads of my feet, and then I have the stability here with the chair. And I'm gonna take a breath in and lift through the chin. And then exhale, melt the head down. So you can bend through your knees if you want, but. Feel that nice long stretch in the back of your leg and your low back. Relax the head forward in through the nose, out through the nose. And then roll yourself all the way back up. Beautiful. I'm gonna kind of pull my hips forward, leaning on this chair just a little bit, and I'm gonna rock through the bottoms of Excellent. Get kind of a little visual here of where your feet are landing because this is your kind of base for this practice. We're going to bring our feet back to this point a few times and it's just this is our uh, home base because it's where we have that nice reach to our chair but without dumping all of our weight. Beautiful. All right, melt the head back down. We want to find that extension here 
in the low part of your back. Couple big breaths. Notice that you're not hyperextending or locking your knees. You want to give yourself a little slight bend. Excellent. And then you're going to roll yourself all the way back up. Release your chair. Amazing. Maybe rock through the shoulders. All right. Big breath. Sweep those arms up. My fingertips are going to kiss together here at the top, and I'm going to just melt my hands right down here to heart center. Wonderful. I'm going to shift my weight into that right foot, and I'm just going to step the left foot forward right up to my chair. And so you'll notice how I land here, a little bend in my knee, knee over ankle, and I'm going to take those back toes, and I'm just going to dial them out a little bit, so like a 45 degree angle. You can release the hands here to your hips. We're gonna dial the hips forward. Now, if you dial the hips forward and you know that that back foot lifts up, maybe close your space just a little bit. This is warrior one. We want that back foot to be nice and rooted. Beautiful, bring your hands to the chair. When you're ready, we're gonna practice a little balance here. And just sweep those arms up right about here. Not back, right here. Pull the belly button in towards the spine. Inhale. Exhale, float it back down. Great job. All right, left hand's gonna stay on the chair for stability. Right arm is gonna lift up. And then I'm gonna open to the back. Take your gaze with you. One full breath. And then swing that arm back around. Excellent. Now, as my right hand comes back to the chair, I'm gonna dial the toes straight ahead. Okay, now we have our chair for stability, and our first practice here for balance is called standing splits. Sounds insane, I know. But I'm gonna sweep that left toes back and dial the upper body down. Now, maybe you're just here. Let's play here for a second, okay? So we're gonna feel a little heat building in that hip, and whatever our balance is, we don't wanna be gripping in our toes, okay? We wanna stack everything over our heel. So hip is right below the heel. Maybe you have that little bend in your knees. Maybe it's more helpful to you to keep those back toes a little bit rooted. When I say balance, I don't mean that you have to have this full expression. I mean finding where you are, practicing your version of balance. And maybe that is just right here. And it's still so effective because we're building that resilience in our hip. So if, you're, if you have both feet connecting with the mat, uh, that doesn't mean that you're not doing it. You're doing it beautifully according to your body. So, yay. Now, maybe you're able to lift those back legs up. Notice that my toes are staying dialed down. And I'm going to challenge myself to level out the hips and reach that leg out long. Again, maybe this is just you here, and that's so wonderful. I have the chair for stability, okay? That little heat building in my hip. I'm gonna lower my body down. And again, maybe this is just you. It's okay. Find your edge, take one big breath. Beautiful, lower that back foot down and then step it back up. Step it back up. <laughs> it's no joke, but it's fun. It's fun just to kind of play around because Sometimes we don't know what our edge of balance is. We walk around and we don't fall over, and so we know that much, but sometimes we don't know uh, what our limitation is as far as where does that joint give out? Where do those stabilizing muscles not serve us? And so getting into the practice and kind of getting to know where your edge is is so good because you can meet yourself there and practice building strength and resilience in your joints and in your body. So. 
Here we are. Meet me back here, front of the chair, front of the back. Big breath in. And exhale, just float it down. <sighs> Wonderful. I'm going to keep the left foot where it is. Step, no, right foot. I'm going to step the left foot back. Now, we want it to be nice and flush here with the mat. Little bend in this front knee. And then I'm going to dial the toes out. Bring my hands here and dial the hips forward. So if you have little flashlights on your hips, you want them to be lighting your way forward, onward. Beautiful. All right, let's try this first little balancing mode. Now, if you feel real wobbly once you release your hands to the chair, come first to your center, come first to your belly for stability. Often when we feel wobbly, we, we wave our arms around trying to create stability in our extremities, but we actually wanna create stability in our center. Makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Beautiful. Nice big reach, big breath here in warrior one. Amazing, and then float that hand back down. My right hand is gonna to come to my chair, hold me steady, left arm comes up, and I'm twisting open to the back. Now, notice that this knee and everything kind of wants to come with you and close. See if you can keep that knee over the ankle. Keep that hip open. Couple breaths here as we lengthen through our fingertips. And then we'll swing that back around to the front. Great job. I'm going to peek back at that back foot. I'm going to dial the toes facing forward. Nice and flat there on that back foot. And then here we go. We're going to sweep the right toes back. Noticing where you feel a little wib wib wibbly, wibbly and wobbly. Notice that I can still wave through my toes. Now, I'm gonna keep the back toes down, no matter where you are, even if you're just here. Try not to open up the foot. Try to keep the toes down, facing down. And work towards your edge. Lower yourself down, lift that leg up, in through the nose, out through the nose, and then gently sweep that right foot back up. Step it up. Amazing, shake it off. Okay, let's step our feet back, return to our base. So remember we're landing about hip width apart. I'm gonna lean forward, find that extension in my arms. Hips are over ankles, but I still have the ability to lift up. So open up the throat, take a breath in. Exhale, melt the upper body down. Relax the head. Now, legs are kind of straightish as I land here, and I want us to all work together to just lower the hips, bend your knees. A little flat back. This is actually called chair pose. <laughs> Big breath. Finding that heat in our quads, I know it's not always so fun. Press away and melt yourself forward. Good job. And then roll yourself all the way back up. Beautiful. I'm going to step my right foot forward back to the chair and I'm going to step my left toes back. Now this time we're coming into this like high lunge and the difference is, is that my toes are tucked. My, my foot is not flush here on the mat. I have a little stack over my ankle. You can give yourself a bend here in that back knee. That feels a little bit better. If you straighten it out, reach through the heel, you're, you'll open up through this front hip crease. Beautiful. All right. We're going to swing those arms up here in this high crescent. Beautiful. Remember, if you're feeling a little wobbly, come right into center. This time, our fingers are going to come straight up. 
Exhale, open the shoulders here like you had a big beach ball overhead. Excellent. Inhale. And exhale, float it back down. All right, here we go. I'm gonna lift off that back foot and bring it right up here. So my right side is my stabilizing side this time. And if possible for you, can you take that left hand, grab that left foot. Now, <clears throat> my knee is just dropping straight down towards the floor. I have this quad stretch happening right here in the front of that leg. Nice and tall. So this might be your balancing pose here. But there's a greater, or not a greater, another more a fuller expression here where we dial the upper body forward and I kind of kick that leg out. I can hear some of you being like, oh my gosh, forget it, I'm not doing this. But Whenever I teach this in my classes, we really have a lot of fun. Try not to take it so seriously that you get frustrated with it. Um, it's just for fun. If you're at home, nobody's watching you. You can be wobbly or sweating or cussing. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe kick that foot out. Use the chair for stability. If you want to practice without the chair, you can lift that hand up. Find your edge. And take one big breath. Beautiful. Awesome. I'm going to bring myself back up and lower that leg. Shake it off. Ooh-wee. So that's called dancer. And I know it might be a little advanced for, you know, just your run-of-the-mill balance practice. But it really is so fun to try. And even if you're just connecting with that foot, you get this amazing stretch here in the quad, which is wonderful. We're putting a little bit of heat in that muscle. Meet me here at the top of your chair, and then let's step the right foot back. All right, into this like high lunge. So maybe fidgeting here a little bit with your spacing, right? You can bring it up a little bit more. That back toe, or the back heel is not connecting with the mat, but my front knee is over my ankle. I have this nice stretch here in the front of my hip crease. Remember, you can bend through that knee if that feels good to you. Whenever you're ready, let's sweep the arms up. Exhale, open the shoulders. Beautiful. Inhale, nice big reach. And float the hands back down to your chair. All right, I'm gonna step that back foot up. So left side is my stabilizing side right now. And I'm gonna try to reach for that back foot. Letting this knee as much as I can, as much as possible. Maybe, maybe you're not here, but just dropping it towards the floor. Now I just wanna say that sometimes there's certain poses that 100% of the time I like it a Charlie horse or cramp up when I go to do that. And if that's you, I hear you, I feel you. <laughs> Before you just react to that cramp, see if you can kind of stay with it for a moment. See if you can breathe through it a little bit. See if you can work to release that with your breath and just bringing awareness to all of those muscles around that Charlie horse. and. Teach yourself to relax, 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 and see if you can open that muscle up without um, compromising the posture. Not easy, it's just a practice. Beautiful, here we are. Now, I'm gonna dial the upper body forward, right? And maybe just, up, just keeping a hold of that foot and dialing yourself forward is where you are today. You can give yourself a little bend in that knee. Maybe you're kicking that foot back into the hand. There's a little polarity happening. I'm kicking my foot into my hand, but I'm pulling my foot towards my body. Reaching through the opposite arm or keeping yourself stabilized here on your chair. 
Wherever you are, find one big breath. And then melt everything with control back down. Excellent. Woo, and shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. All right, we're gonna step back to our home base, reaching forward for my chair. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the heart. Exhale, melt it all down. Couple breaths in and out through the nose. some gentle movement here with your neck. Excellent. And then I'm going to bend through my knees, pull myself all the way back up, release the chair and just come into this mountain pose, head over heart, palms shine forward. Alrighty, stepping up to our chair, we're going to open up the feet a little bit more than hip width apart, and then gently, maybe if you're working with a mat, maybe your toes just spill off the edge. Uh, heels are into center, and you know where this is going. Here we go for a little squat practice. Now, hold the core in, keep the upper body nice and tall, and let's just let this be a lower body exercise. So bend through the knees, drop the hips down. And then work your way back up. You don't have to go as far as you possibly can. Just kind of gently working into those inner thighs, into those hips, noticing how you feel. Notice where you feel the burn. Notice where you feel the shake. Press yourself back up. Okay, shake it off a little. We're gonna go back down. We're gonna do a little hold, just a 10 second hold. So inhale. And then gently exhale as you drop yourself to your edge. I'll meet you here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Awesome. Stand it up. Woo. Shake it off. You can release your feet from the mat. Good job. Good job. All right, let's do that one more time. You can do anything for 10 seconds. That's what I used to tell myself in childbirth. <laughs> you can do anything once, twice, or six times in my case. Big breath in and lower it down. If you're new here to granny yoga, yes, I have six children. It's the pride of my life, I love them. And we're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, stand it up, woo, shake it off. Shake, shake, shake. Okie dokie, friends, I'm gonna turn facing you, you can turn facing me, I have my chair on one side, and last but not least, we're just gonna practice a little tree. So I'm gonna use, this time, my left side for stability. And I'm just gonna come up on my right toes here. Now, tree is like an external rotation on one hip, nice and grounded and rooted on the other side. So first, we just wanna be sure that we have a nice stack, hip over knee, over ankle. You can wave your toes there on the left side. And then I'm gonna take my right toes and I'm gonna start here. Just letting my heel rest against my body, letting my toes stabilize me, just feeling the sensation of the hip opening and going, okay, okay, this works. And maybe this is where you are. Beautiful, welcome to tree. Maybe you're gonna lift that foot up right here into your calf, right? Maybe that's good for you, wonderful. Now, the next step is we don't go here to our knee. We don't put pressure here on our knee joint. 
We come all the way up. You can grab that foot for help if you want to. Right into our inner thigh. Now, in fancy yoga, you know, we make this connection and we grow our branches up. But here in granny yoga, we're going to keep the connection here with our heel. So just go ahead and hang on to that foot, right? Practice letting go of that chair for stability. Maybe practice lifting up through the arms. Now, if you've opted for a little bit of a lower stance, try to lift up both hands here. Really lifting through the upper body as if the upper body was being pulled up to a cloud. One more full breath. And let it go <laughs> or fall out, whatever. It's all good. Great, let's practice the other side. So you might turn around to do this. I don't wanna have my back to you, so I'm just gonna give myself a little space. So I'm rooted in that right side, and I'm gonna just gently open those left toes right here on the mat, and then just work your way up. This is for fun, right? We're just playing. We're saying, oh, can I do that? Yes, I can, Ooh, look at me or reaching down, pulling that heel right up into the inner thigh. You can grab, hold that here. Maybe reach up that hand. And whatever part of you needs stability, then just keep that connection to the chair. Finding your balance in whatever pose or shape you found today. And then just take one big breath lifting up through the upper body. I'm going to extend this just for fun. <sighs> nice long exhale. Beautiful. And take it down. Shake it off. Woo wee, everybody. Such a great job. Such a great job. All right, one more time. I'm going to find my home base, root my feet down into the mat, extend my arms out here nice and long. Inhale, and exhale. Nice, beautiful forward fold. If it works for you, you can release your hands down to the floor, or just keep your hands nice and stable on the chair. Let's allow our head to really relax forward. In through the nose. This time we're gonna sigh it out. Two more, in through the nose, side out. In through the nose, let it go. Wonderful, tuck the chin and roll yourself all the way back up again, head over heart. Let's open the palms, meet you here, mountain pose. And just bring your hands here to heart center with me. So much fun. It's truly so much fun <laughs> to practice uh, balancing with you. And if you found this like a little challenging, come back, do it over and over. Keep meeting those muscles right at their edge and watch as you grow and become more stable. That's sort of what balance is, right? It's like a little bit of everything and dialing it all into this beautiful center point of equanimity. So best wishes on your journey. I am here breathing, stretching, and practicing with you. The love, the light in me sees and honors the love and light in each of you. Namaste.